Hello everybody, this is Budrich. I thought I would make this little short, uh, or I don't know how short it will be, but I, I, just talking a bit about i3 window manager and just uh, to let you know that I am um, alive and, and things like that, you know. I have been looking into experimenting a bit with the BWP script here. Um, everything works fine, but I'm, I'm, I'm just not sure how I want to proceed with it. If I want to, to include, I, I don't think I will include the X screensaver stuff in, in the, the public version or make any YouTube videos about it because it's too much of a dirt act, but this is how it looks like if you want to be able to use this. But we will look into i3 lock here, and I also just figured out like yesterday, tried some stuff. The uh, it, it was actually in the official man page for i3 lock how to, uh, um, so we can use different image formats and not just uh, pings as I thought we needed to before. And I I actually converted all files into pings, and that was what was occupying the the biggest. Uh, uh, disk uh, space thief so to speak of, of the BWP thing now we don't need a locks directory at all we can pipe whatever image uh, directly into it we lock here by using this raw format thing here whatever this video is not about this this video is about i3 which just had a new release one hour ago secure or as is also known Mikael Stapelberg Mikael Stapelberg, Mikael Stapelberg, Mikael Stapelberg uh, released, um, yeah, a, a new release for i3 here, version 4.17, and it's it's uh, the first. Uh, I don't know if this is a major release. I don't know. Can we see it here? Uh, this release contains assorted fixes. Yeah, I, I guess it's not a major release, but it's. Um, it's a new release and 4.16 which was the last release I it is almost one year ago since they released that then I think they made like a, a fix version in in November or something 4.16-1 or something like that let's see which version I have yeah I have 4.16.1 which was released yeah in in January but I think uh, 16. Zero uh, was released like in October last year So it's almost one year ago since they released a, 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 a new update to i3 and in this version 4.16 like the only new thing was this uh, mess i3 message uh, subscribe thing and in this version 4.17 there there is like no new features at all it I I, I I'm so happy to see these release notes. It's like just improvements, uh, fixing some 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 fringe issues that that I don't think many people have because this just proves uh, one that i3 is a very very stable and mature uh, application with a very good development team and everything. So so not much new things are happening here, and and I I, I just uh, see that as as good good stuff you know uh, if it's not broken don't fix it as they used to say you know and if i want something then i can add the features myself with, with like weird ipc scripts or whatever but we will see what will happen here because i have the issue tracker here for i3 the official one on github and they are they are actually discussing here i thought this would be in this uh, the next uh, release here but apparently it isn't so i guess they they wait with this to maybe uh, a 5.0 release i don't know i, I have no idea but uh, they are speaking about adding uh, gaps the i3 gaps uh, functionality into the main branch uh, main version of i3 and i guess merging them into one single uh, window manager instead of having this weird uh, uh, twin window manager thing that's been going on for for quite a long time now and and i uh, i think it makes a lot of sense of course it does for for them to just have one project to focus on and i guess it makes sense to merge and, and add this gaps functionality but i i am a bit worried to be honest uh, that that this might not be as easy and 
in my opinion, the gaps doesn't add any any anything. To, to i3 kind of creates more problems than it solves but we will see I'm sure they will it will be great in the end uh, but that was that wasn't included in this uh, version so so I wouldn't be surprised if we have to wait like a year before we see this stuff uh, in, in the main i3 branch whatever but we'll see what happens. I have actually forked i3 and I'm looking into the source and stuff, trying to learn C a bit and see if I can... Yeah, just for, for education, for, for my own, uh, because I just want to learn how things work, you know, and, and it's kind of fun and it's also a good code, good project to, to, to have for that reason. And the i3 project is, is just so nice. They have this great test suit that I don't think so many people know about, but you can can run uh, a bunch of tests in this special uh, i3 specific test suit here that uses uh, Perl uh, and, and Exephyr to test the different uh, functions for i3. And, and the, the, this is very cool because you, you you can uh, add some function to the source code, Le uh, just add a new function and you never know, you know, maybe everything looks fine but then some weird edge cases, if it's a floating window on a different workspace and then you close that workspace and what happens with the flow, wh whatever, you know. But you can add a function and then run all these like three, four hundred tests or whatever it is. Um, to eliminate a lot of, of those weird edge cases and, and give you a great overview how, how everything will work and how your uh, changes affect the, the program as a whole. I, I, I really think this is a big, big advantage uh, that this, this project have over many other uh, window managers. But I'm not saying that, uh, of course, there are other window managers that have test tests in them. Um, but it's a, it's a really nice little system they have going on there. I've been looking into all this just, just out of curiosity to see how, how things are working and yeah, maybe we'll see. If they, <laughs> uh, if, if they remove the gaps fork, maybe it's time for a less fork, you know, without gaps. <laughs> I3 less. We'll see, we'll see. Um, but, but it's cool anyways to see that um, we get updates. Uh, I haven't tried this yet because it's not available in uh, Pac-Man yet, but yes, I get it tomorrow or something. I don't have the testing uh, repositories enabled because uh, I'm not that crazy, you know, but uh, I will probably get it in a day or two, especially when it doesn't seem to, to be any like new breaking changes at all here. So, so it should, it's probably a very easy thing to update the repositories. No, no, no. Not, I, I can't see anything here that I could make a video about, uh, but um, we'll see. Maybe if something comes up, you know. Uh, uh, um, yeah. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.